Hello, my name's Hannah Mary McKinnon and it's a delight to be able to share some details with you about myself and my work as an author. I live in Oakville and we moved here in 2010 from Switzerland where I grew up. Although you might notice that I have a, Brit a bit of a British accent going on, um, which is actually where I was born in the UK. So when we came to Oakville, I changed my career path and turned to writing. So let me tell you a little bit about my four novels and I'll read you uh, the first chapter of my fourth book, Sister Dear, which publishes on May 26th. So let's get started with Time After Time. Time After Time, Spiral Bound, because it was published in 2016 as an e-book by HarperCollins UK. From the pink cover, you might detect that it's a, more of a romantic read. Uh, it's a rom-com, basically the love child of the movies Groundhog Day and Sliding Doors, if you're familiar with those oldies but goodies. It's the story of the paths not taken. A woman um, wakes up, she's in her early 40s, she wakes up one morning married to her first ex-boyfriend who she hasn't seen in 20 years. and She's actually getting a glimpse of how her life might have turned out had she made different choices. So this one, time after time, available as an ebook. Next up, after time after time, I move to the dark side of domestic suspense. And the first book in that category is The Neighbours. So The Neighbours is a bit of a cautionary tale. We have two individuals uh, who used to be lovers and they haven't seen each other in almost 20 years. When Liam moves in next door to Abby by chance, they decide in their wisdom not to tell their respective partners that they used to be together and that they know each other, that they share a past. And of course, as it would in domestic suspense, bad stuff happens. This one published in March of 2018 and is available uh, both as, well, ebook, audiobook, uh, and also as a paperback, such as this one. Last year's novel, Another Domestic Suspense, is called Her Secret Son. Now, Her Secret Son is the story of Josh. And Josh's partner of five years, Grace, dies in a very tragic accident and he blames himself largely for her death. And she leaves behind her seven-year-old son, Logan. When Josh goes looking for the birth certificate so he can organize legal guardianship for Logan, the boy who he loves more than anything, he can't find that document anywhere. And all of a sudden, all of these secrets that Grace has been hiding about Logan come forth from the darkness and are Josh's to either ignore and pretend there's no issue at all, or he has to go in search of the truth. And of course, he goes in search of the truth or it would be a very short story. So this was her secret son, also published by Harper Collins in audiobook, ebook, uh, and paperback, such as this one, which you can find at the library. This year's novel is Sister Dear. Sister Dear is another uh, domestic suspense psychological thriller, and this story is about half sisters. Half sisters who don't know that the other exists until one of them finds out, and she realizes that her glamorous half sister has and is everything that she could only ever dream of. And so she decides to infiltrate her half sister's life without telling her they're related and mayhem ensues, of course, because it's psychological suspense. So let me read you the, uh, the back, the blurb of the book and also the first chapter. So this is Sister Dear, which publishes on May 26th and will be available uh, across all platforms. So audiobook, paperback and ebook. This is the blurb of Sister Dear. Beauty, wealth, success. She's got it all. And it all should have been mine. When Eleanor Hardwick's beloved father dies, her world is further shattered by a gut-wrenching secret. The man she's grieving isn't really her dad. Eleanor was the product of an affair, and her biological father is still out there, living blissfully with the family he chose. When her personal life, with her personal life spiralling, a desperate Eleanor seeks him out. 
leading her to uncover another branch on her family tree, an infuriatingly enviable half-sister. Perfectly perfect Victoria has everything Eleanor could ever dream of. Loving childhood, luxury home, devoted husband. All of it stolen from Eleanor, who plans to take it back. After all, good sisters are supposed to share, and quiet little Eleanor has been waiting far too long for her turn to play. That was the blurb of Sister Dear, which publishes on May 26th. And now let me read you chapter one. The police didn't believe me. A jury wouldn't have either if I'd gone on trial and most definitely not the judge. My attorney had more than a few reservations about my story. Miss Allerton hadn't said as much. She didn't need to. I saw it in her eyes, could tell by the way she shuffled and reshuffled her papers, as if doing so might shake my lies clean off the pages, leaving only the truth behind in her inky, royal blue swirls. After our first meeting, I'd concluded she must have known early on, before she shook my hand with her icy fingers, that I was a liar. Before she'd walked into the room in her shiny four-inch heels, she'd no doubt decided she'd heard my excuses, or a variation thereof, from countless clients already. I was yet another person claiming to be innocent, another criminal who'd remained adamant they'd done nothing wrong. It wasn't their fault, honest, despite the overwhelming amount of ed evidence to the contrary, a wall of impending doom surrounding me. And still... At the time, I'd believed the only reason Miss Allerton had taken on my case pro bono was because of the amount of publicity it gave her firm. Reducing my sentence, for there would be one, would amplify her legacy as a hotshot lawyer. I'd accepted her help. There was no other option. I needed her knowledge, her expertise, saw her as my final hope. I now know her motivations were something else I'd miscalculated. All hope extinguished. Game over. If I'm being fair, the judgments Miss Allerton and other people had made about me weren't completely wrong. I had told lies, some anyway. And while that stripped away part of my claim to innocence, it didn't mean I was entirely guilty. Not of things everybody said I'd done. Things I'd had no choice but to confess to, despite that being my biggest lie of all. But I'll tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but. I'll start at the beginning and share everything that happened, every last detail leading up to one fateful night. The night someone died because of me. The night I lost you too. I won't expect your forgiveness. Our relationship, or lack thereof, will have gone way beyond that point. No. All I can hope for is that my side of the story will one day help you understand why I did the things I did and why I have to do the things I've not yet done. That was the first chapter of Sister Dear, the psychological thriller which publishes on May 26th, 2020. So just uh, in a well, almost next month, we can almost say. Um, I hope you enjoyed that extract. Big shout out to Oakville Public Library for asking me to introduce myself to readers and viewers. This is a wonderful opportunity. My local library, absolutely love it. And you can find me um, on my social media pages. So on Instagram, that's Hannah Mary McKinnon. On Twitter, it's Hannah M McKinnon. And I have an author Facebook page, which is also Hannah Mary McKinnon. And my website, which is also hannahmarymckinnon.com. I hope you enjoyed the, that little extract of Sister Dear. And uh, if you see me at the Oakville Public Library, where I am on a frequent basis, just stop by and come and say hi. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye for now.